Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Passionate Pilgrim and today we've got poem number 14, which in some versions, poem number 14 is just these two stanzas. In other versions, poem 14 is five stanzas, but those other three stanzas in these versions are poem 15. But today we're just gonna go with the two stanzas, but then tomorrow we'll talk about the two together. So the two stanzas that we've got for today in today's poem number 14 say, good night, good rest, oh, neither be my share. She bade good night, they kept my rest away, and daft me to a cabin hanged with care, to descant on the doubts of my decay. Farewell, quoth she, and come again tomorrow. Farewell, I could not, for I supped with sorrow. Yet at my parting sweetly did she smile. In scorn or friendship, nil I construe whether. It may be she joyed to jest at my exile. It may be again to make me wander thither. Wander, a word for shadows like myself, as take the pain but cannot pluck the pelf. So this is setting up a story. Um, the speaker is obviously in love with a woman who the speaker had been hanging out with, but then the woman asked the speaker to leave and now the speaker is leaving. And it, it wasn't like a get out of here. It was like, okay, good night. I'll see you tomorrow kind of thing. But even being parted from, we'll say his love, but it could be her love or their love. Being parted from the speaker's love is painful to the speaker. They don't want to have to wait until tomorrow to see their love again. And then that that's basically the first stanza is, you know, I, I was dismissed, so I'm not going to sleep well and I'm not going to have a good night because now I'm just going to be sad about the fact that I'm not with this person that I love. And then in the second stanza, the speaker talks about how when they were leaving, the, the object of desire smiled just a little bit and they can't tell now they're like parsing it for subcontext and they're like okay I don't know if that was like a bad smile or a good smile did they smile because they know that they're going to see me again did they smile because they were happy that I was leaving uh, was it just something to get rid of me and then they get caught up in the word wander just a little bit saying you know wander that's a that's a good word for somebody like me that gets to walk around and like see stuff but never gets to actually take advantage of it you know if you're just if you're just wandering around you're not actually shopping you're not actually going anywhere you're not getting the fruits of your labors and this speaker feels like they are not getting the fruits of their labors because they've been dismissed for the evening by the person that they are obsessed with in love with in lust with however you want to phrase that. So this is setting things up. And I think that I probably agree a little bit more with putting this with tomorrow's three stanzas into one piece, but the version of, of Passionate Pilgrim that I'm going off of had this as 14 and tomorrow is 15. So after we've heard the other three stanzas, we'll take a look at these two together and see what the fuller picture of the story is, because this is very much just a setup kind of a thing. If it, if it ends there, it's kind of clunky and unfinished. So anyway, come on back tomorrow and we'll finish it with poem 15. See you then. Mwah.